Hi, my name is Kerry Jackson, host of GeekShowPodcast.com. It's a show about all things geeky, you know, your Star Wars, your Star Trek, your comic books, things like that. Uh, listen, if this is your first time that you've ever seen or heard Geek Show, and you're even slightly sensitive to adult language, probably not for you. Welcome to Double Income No Kids Studios or Dink Studios. Let's go in and do an episode, shall we? All right, you guys. Let's do it. This is the good one. Excelsior! Yes! On fleet. On fleet. Let's do this. Geekshowpodcast.com. Uh, welcome back to the basement. Hey! Yeah! Star Wars. Basement! Star Wars. Star it's the Star Wars, Wars special edition Star on Geek Wars. Show. Star Basement. Hey, guys! Edition. Star Wars The Force Awakens coming out. I think, is it's, it, is it it's, out this it's, week? It's, it's coming out on Friday. Oh. It's out this week. Let's go see it, you guys! <laughs> uh, I, I do have an update. On Let's go get tickets, Jason! Um, I didn't have tickets, but a listener um, won tickets for mm-hmm. the Thursday night showing. So mm-hmm. thank, thank you. I should give them to me. Oh, that's nice. super. I get, I get to see it Thursday night oh. at seven. That's super kind. I, I'm, I just feel bad for everybody else in the theater because there's going to be a lot of me screaming and exploding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, speaking of Star Wars, Jimmy will be uh, contacting. We, we will be contacting him in just a few moments. He's down in L.A. at the time when we were recording this. He's in L.A. at the Star Wars junket. He has not seen the film. He's, he's at the Star Wars. He's hanging out with Harrison Ford. But uh, I, I bet you. That he'll let us have some of those interviews, and we'll have those at the end of this episode. Yeah. Stay tuned. With broken news will explain coming up. This is going to be a good episode for you guys. So what, what do you think of this uh, Maple Crown Royal, Gary? You know, like I said, it it smells like the maple syrup that my mother used to make. Okay. And I'm convinced that we could pour it on French toast. I, I think I agree. I want to know. And uh, do you have any do you have any cornstarch upstairs? Oh yeah. Do you have some bread? Yeah. I might make some French toast. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Merrick. <laughs> Jay, Jay, how's the uh, dar- the black label do and the vodka? Um, I mixed it. Um, I mixed it with vo- uh, some Stoli vodka, and uh, it is very delicious. Ooh. Well, th- okay. Even though the cup says uh, Grey Goose, right? Made by Zach. Um, but um, Zach makes great cups. He does. Um, black. I like the black. I fucks with the black bull. There you go. That's, that is your signature drink. Yeah. It's- I call it blackberry. <laughs> Blackberry. <laughs> the Blackberry. Blackberry from Black accounting. <laughs> Blackberries. Oh, not, not that berry. Blackberry. Yeah, you know the one from accounting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean berry from IT? No, no, berry. no, 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 no. Blackberry yeah. from oh, accounting. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so the, yeah, actually, this is yeah, this is called the Blackberry from accounting. Blackberry from accounting. Yeah, <laughs> and it's B A R R Y. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's the ID okay. ten T form. Yeah. 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 Hey, I heard you guys were looking for me. <laughs> you guys need no, me? No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. Blackberry. Yeah, from accounting. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Do we have an accounting department? We, we will soon. Okay. Apparently. I know. Hopefully. Because I know we've got an HR department. Uh, pretty soon. We, the stuff happening. All right. What? <gasps> yeah, the stuff happening. Oh. Is Blackberry involved? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know Blackberry from accounting? Uh, I know him. Okay. I but know. he's not involved. I've never actually met him. I know of Freckled him. Freckleberry? Is Freckleberry? Is he involved? <laughs> How about Frankenberry? Is he involved? Uh, I hate working with Frankenberry. Oh, because he's always leaving parts around. Right? Yep. And he microwaves fish. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, he's Blackberry like, never does that shit. <laughs> just a cartoon cereal mascot from the 70s. Jeez. I'd like to participate in the Barry conversation, but I can't remember the name of Greg Brady's name that's Barry something. Oh, but, Barry uh, Williams. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Shit. Oh, I blew that. I got yeah. <laughs> I got nothing. Okay. So Don't, I'm just gonna well, you could do Adam Sandler. Barry Lincoln. And I was wondering if these people are lift or working out or having sex. I t- you never heard sex or weightlifting uh, yeah, from heard, Adam Sandler? Yeah. It's oh, so yeah. fucking that one's oh, funny. No idea. I'd, I'd say blueberries just took over the entire beginning of the show. Uh, yep. Barry Lincoln. We'll get to the Star Wars episode here in a moment. Did you know I love Star Wars? I have heard that you 
have an affinity. I Wait, do. What? For Star Wars. If you go to ilovestarwars.com, it's a picture of me. Hmm. Is this a picture of Lisa's? Yep. I'm going to look right now. I Just hesitate smiling. to say he's an enthusiast. Oh. With Brian Young like hanging over your shoulder. No, <laughs> no. Unfortunately, he wrote the book. I just wrote the this foreword. This is not a competition. I wrote the foreword. Yes. Jesus, guys, can't we all just like Star Wars? <laughs> Most of us. <laughs> not all of us. I can't. I can't, I can't fucking do it. <laughs> Jason, this, this, this voice fucks with Jason. No, yeah, but that, that's Jason. Right. No, because, all right. Star here, here. Wars. <laughs> That thief from Star Wars. He does. He does, he does a really. <laughs> Glad they're not our wars. <laughs> He's doing Bill Murray with a saliva mouth. <laughs> Up there in the sky. Oh, he just spit all over your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I, I just looked up ilovestarwars.com and yeah. it is a domain for sale, good sir. Let's you buy it. Let's buy it. Buy it. Yeah. Buy it. I will let me buy get, it. Let me right give now. you. Let me give you my Norwegian Express card. Perfect. <laughs> We need to get a paper bag for Jay so we can yeah, hyperventilate it's into a, it. It's a weird laugh. No, the reason why that voice makes me laugh, I used to date a woman like that back in junior high school. Is that Shut so, up. So, uh, someone no who likes Star Wars? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes, Jason. Yes. Or did she have a... Yes, Jason. Yes. <laughs> she had a kind of a speech impediment? Ah, oh, Jesus. Fuck that pussy, Jason. Climax. <laughs> that came from Climax. Was, like, was it like fucking Sylvester the Cat? Did I? T- oh my God, <laughs> Carrie! Did you know? No okay, no comment. During 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 my radio. Oh, yes, yeah, get that tweet, bird, Jason. I had a I had a, a production director mm-hmm. at my old radio station who actually talked like Sylvester the I, Cat. Hey, he may he, I may have handed him off to you. Was his name Dana Wanders? No, his name was Kyle, and okay. it was so strange because you'd be you you never noticed that he had that lisp that until you'd listen to it and and, and I realized one of the one of the. Uh, Salespeople Shit, yeah, was intentionally writing S heavy copy for commercials. <laughs> so, like, today is the Super Saturday Thumber Thaving Fail at Standard Brand. And I hope someday that I can get a real mouth for my fun so that we don't go get these kangaroos on the train. Ah, <laughs> uh, stick it in my ass, Jason. No, 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 no. No, no there was, there was a that, kid. That was too far. That was, was too far. It was a kid in radio when, I, far. when I first started. <laughs> and he, w- he, he was. He was on the air. I couldn't believe he yeah. was on the air, and he, he, he very pronounced, yeah. you know. And he would, so he would, Jefferson so he would be saying, "There's the romantics, the romantics." You know, I hear the secrets that you keep when you're talking in your sleep. sleep. I'm like, Steve, why is this guy on the air? I don't understand it. He, uh, he's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Nine inch dick. <laughs> We got him at the damage store, the Nine. damage DJ store. I, I just couldn't understand Nine why that was happening. The freight damage store. Anyway, uh, it is the the Star Wars special. Star Wars. And uh, we'll start uh, over uh, over here with Jay Whitaker. What's up? Hi, Jay Whitaker. What's up? What's up? I'm channeling my fin right now. Yeah, yeah. John Paul Yeager. Let's do this shit, right? Let's start it off this Star Wars special. I'm, uh, that's terrible. I don't. So you got to look at the explosions because yeah. Finn always looks at the explosions. No, but no. And here's my here's my fin. Uh, Impression. I do it. I, I do a pretty spot on Finn impression. <gasps> That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yes. Very I wish proud. they could have seen it. Like really. No. Like for a second. You I were, thought I was in the room. You were there. You yeah. were. You were on Jakku. Jakku. <laughs> Y'all seen the trailers? This motherfucker got it. He's always panting. Yeah, he's yeah. Just, he's on the run. Cardio, dude. <laughs> <laughs> cardio is very important. Yeah, hard is to run in plasteel armor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see where can we see your stuff, Jay. Um, you can see it on jaywhitakercomedy dot com. Uh, come fuck with me on Twitter at token J, um, and as well as Instagram, as well as Snapchat. I just like being on social media and fun. Come fuck with me on my gamer tag full space dot Whitaker. Or no, full Whitaker with the space in between. Full. Whitaker. Yeah, come fucks with me. <laughs> I'm doing that shit. Drinking Black Bulls all day. That, that, that doesn't sound right. That, I feel like I just uh, like uh, offended or the, appealed to a community. I thought it was the Blackberry from accounting. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Come drink a Blackberry from accounting. Offended or appealed to an entire community? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've never yeah, done no, that before. No, I knew what he meant. Yeah, I, exactly I was there with you. Meant, yeah. yeah. I was there with you. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, it's uh, Shannon Martin, hey! everyone. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey. Shannon. Hey. Hey. 
Where can we fucks with you? Come at? fucks with me. <laughs> Jesus, man, this keeps a forgetting mic- he has a microphone. Yeah, you understand. gotta lean back on that, man. Right. Um, Bruh. You can come fucks with me at uh, my pub quiz, eight fifteen, uh, in the in the in the evening, at Lucky Thirteen on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, uh, and you can uh, fucks with me. I might even answer this. You don't even know. Sometimes I might answer the Ask Mister B line <laughs> at uh, oh crap, what is it? Jesus. Uh, 8675309 385-259-0813 Let me fix your life Ask me a question He's here to help Let's figure it out Operators are standing by You need some nice soft clarinet music behind you That's for sure I'm here to help Hey guy Hey girl Let's figure this shit out. Give me a call, like you know. Wait, can we do a simulation of a call? Three eight five two five nine zero eight one three. Help, sir, sir, because that's where we all my boyfriend's transformer toys, and he's mad. What can I do, <laughs> Mister B? Hi, my name is Doctor Reef. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a call from Doctor Reef. Oh, God, I would love you it. You realize that? Uh, let's see. It's uh, Lee George Kate, everybody. Hey, my favorite Iggy Pop song's on. Oh, Lust for Life. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Makes me want to. Makes me want to go on a cruise. It makes me want to do a little strip tease. That's what it makes me want to nah, do. Nah, man, man, there's nothing but dudes up there. That's a damn good song. Uh, yeah, come fucks with me at Fresh. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's at 145 East, 1300 South, Suite 201. It's vegan food, and that is not a four-letter word. It is a five-letter word. <laughs> I'm telling you. Food. So, and actually, uh, you can yeah. order ahead. Oh, uh, oh. Either give us a call, or order at toolazyforfood.com. And you guys cater, right? And we do cater. Uh, we can. Uh, when we're, you know, we're open a lot because we love you guys. You and guys say we cater potatoes. We cater potatoes. Actually, we have very few potatoes, uh, mostly because uh, I I feel like Smeagol and what's taters precious <laughs> comes out of my mouth a lot. <laughs> but uh, also, I've got a web comic at Tapastic. It's Tapastic. Uh, forward slash series forward slash Grimleys or just type in Grimleys G R I M M L E I G H S. I really need a simpler name, bless you. Mm-hmm. Thanks. And uh, that's going to be updated two or three times a week, and eventually will be a book because it's cool. Nice, there you like go. that. You Thank okay, you. Tony? Yeah. Right. Allergies are out of control. And what are you allergic to? Everything. You just, really? You just sneeze. Cats, the... dogs, sunlight, all pollens. Uh, walnuts, pecans, sunlight, sunlight. Sometimes Instagram filters. No, I'm okay with those. Okay. Having a soul, you Su- dirty ginger. Superman. Uh, my uh, antibodies killed the soul inside of me yeah. long ago. Yeah, dude. He's don't say the word. Okay. That's his word. That's my yeah, word. That's his word. That's oh, you don't sorry, say the sorry. word. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, that I appreciate it. that apology. Sorry. Where where can we where, see? where can we come fricks with you? Yeah. <laughs> come come, come <laughs> fricks with me on Twitter. <laughs> Come fricks, with come fricks with me at we, Quad T where, Tony. Where can we come fudge with you? Where can we come? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. we're not going to say that fudge. one. No it, fudging. No, it's, it's fricksing. It's definitely fricks. fricksing. Fricksing or fraxing or Fri- no, it's fricksing. <laughs> Yo, y'all come no. fricks with me. Fricksing? Wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. So I like we, fricksing. We, we just said fricks, which is a combination of the word frish and fucks. No, yeah. no. So frickin', frickin', like frickin'. No, I know, but I no. It's called marketing, people. Oh, okay, go ahead. oh, please make it all about me again. That's yeah, fine. Th- thank you. Yeah, so, I do appreciate that. Yeah, so, so come fricks with my boy. Frick at Frick. Frick, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come, come. That's our next T-shirt. Seriously, I'm going to be selling the hell out of those. Come fricks with my boy. At so, Frick. so if you were to, no, you can't do that at Lee George K's restaurant. Because <laughs> if if you were if you were if you were to if you were to fricks at Frisch. Well, it's a health code violation, son. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Uh, let's see. I'm but calling. But if you're in a Fricks in a Frisch parking lot. I'm calling our next member of the panel who is That's in Los Angeles. Let's Fricks with Jimmy. There he is. Well, there there, there he is. Hello. We are uh, on and recording. Where's with Jimmy, Jimmy Cam? Martin. Where's Jimmy Cam? We, oh, you have your own camera, Jimmy. Look, he looks like Jaws. Oh, there he is. Hey. There he is. Hey, where's your tie? Look, look at what? that. Make your bed. I got this on now. Your bed. Oh, he's got oh, a t shirt. Look at that. Damn so you. you flew all the way down there to not watch a movie, and you got a T-shirt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, seriously, I flew all the way to L.A., and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Oh, and I talked to that guy in The Fugitive. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah, that's too. Make your bed. Of What's up? Your bed's a mess. Your bed's a mess. We're oh, worried about make you. Make your what bed. No. Don't they have maids at that place? Well, there's uh, one hung yeah, up on a towel rack in the bathroom. 
The problem what? is, is it's a it's a robot and it doesn't have any arms. It's just rolling around trying oh, to I clean his room bet. up. Oh, you got another bed? Well, <laughs> well, and and you didn't you. invite me as your husband? Oh. Well, he only needs one bed for that. I could have stayed. We could have been watching Real Housewives of Orange County together. Oh. You a bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's Damn. Even worse. So, Jimmy, have you ever had uh, Maple Crown Royal? Or Crown Royal Maple? No. It's tasty. Oh, no, I have. It's, yeah. I have. It's, it's like drinking maple syrup. Yeah. But you get that, drunk. Then the, what's the other one? It's like an apple something? Yeah. Hey, look at the camera, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, we we drink a Hennessy. Oh, wait. He's going to show us something. Crown here. Royal he's Maple. He's going to show us his booze counter. It's a selfie with Harrison Ford. Like, yeah. Are you going to put your dick on your uh, iPhone again? Maybe throw up. My, my buddy. Oh, oh check that out. Hey, that looks like Harrison Ford. Jimmy Cam, do you, uh, does everyone yeah. see this on Jimmy Cam? <laughs> so, Jimmy, is that your new Topps uh, trading card app picture? You and Harrison yeah, Ford? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, wow. It's, I saw me his and, chin move. Me and Callista. Mm. Let's <laughs> see if I made him laugh. Please. Oh, that's, that's your interview with Harrison Ford? Honestly, all I yeah. want all I want is just this. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's smiling. He oh. loves you, Jimmy. How can he do that? <laughs> he loves you. And I love him. Did all he right. say your name ever? Jimmy Martin. Yeah, he said it. He said what? <laughs> he said what? He, said, he called me an asshole. <laughs> no, he didn't. You okay. ass. That would be an honor. I, yeah, to be yeah. called an asshole. By <laughs> I'd, I'd, seriously, I'd, yeah. Just, I'd yeah. just pound it to that sound. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you can get it. I got a clear shot of his earring, too. No. Did you? God. I would have counseled him to get rid of that guy. Why goddamn does he have thing. that? Why, why does he have that? I know. Is he there looks, any reason? He looks or? like an idiot. It's not, yeah. You Even, guys just don't understand. Some people can pull it off. He's just not he's one just of them. He's not one of them. He, as cool as he is, it's just not. Actually, you know. he's doing that to temper down the cool. Oh, see, that makes a little bit yeah, of sense. Yeah, because without it, his cool is just so out of control. It's too high. So, exactly. Jimmy, where can we see all this Star Wars stuff that you're preparing right now? We're going to show it. Uh, the full interviews will be on Big Movie. Where can we fuck uh, with you wise. at? We'll mm -hmm. have the audio on Geek Show. We'll have the audio on Mediocre Show. We'll have uh, KSL. We'll be doing quite a few spots on it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to let me run seven five-minute interviews. This is probably not going to happen. They'll, so, they'll get the good ones. That's that. like 35 minutes. Yeah. Well, uh, are we yeah. going to have one on this episode? We're on our episode two uh, Star Wars special. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we will. Okay. So stay till the end of the episode to hear some interviews. We'll, we'll let you know. I'm which, not sure which ones we'll do. We'll let you know uh, during the broken news. We'll let you know. Fuck with your Star Wars. All right. There's we're so uh, we're seven. So huh? Seven interviews. And they're all like ten minutes. Uh, no, they're all like three to four. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Was, they get you in pretty out pretty quick. We can do that. So we'll spread them out over the next couple of weeks. You know, well, my my favorite thing that you did so today, I, though. You guys, uh, what I said about what uh, what JJ Abrams is actually calling this movie. Uh, what? So you guys. J.J. Abrams ha agrees that uh, this movie is just a full-length feature music video for cool guys don't look at explosions. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, They're not going to be looking? You know, yeah. what? You know who else But they have to see it. Yeah. You, you know who else doesn't look at explosions? Our host, Kerry oh, Jackson. Yeah. I never do. I'm always walking away. Too cool don't for give explosions. Walking. I don't run. He does not give one. Right. Or even two fucks. Four no, explosions. Not even half of one. When, when should we fucks with you, Carrie? Uh, Monday through Friday, 6 to 10, X96 Radio, X96.com. Yeah, and, come fucks uh, with it. And, of course, here. And I, I, just, I do want to remind you that if you ever need a new weather and traffic girl, I'm available. Uh, we, I didn't know that you had a procedure done. <laughs> it's, oh, I'm so good. Gina uh, does that. I'm hey, why weren't, why weren't you on the radio the other day? I was sick. What? what? I actually took you a called sick day. You took a sick day? I took I was a like, sick day. I was worried. I My sinuses were out of control. Really? Yeah. Oh, you know and what? I've, I've not was taken it? a sick day. A was, sick this, day. was this on Thursday? Forever. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. First official day of the inversion here in Salt Lake Valley. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is true. You had too much metal in your nose. You could have uh, sneezed out an ingot. No, I, I broke Maybe my... Maybe that's what's wrong with me right now. I broke my no handshake policy a oh. week earlier. Kenny well, Baker. I, I always do a no handshake policy November and December because uh -huh. it never fails. If, right. If I, <laughs> uh, no handshake November. Exactly. So you're like like you're and super I, unfriendly. You're just like, I, get the fuck away from me. Exactly. I totally <laughs> forgot. And I was up in Ogden and we're doing you know. Oh, a, you a shook food somebody's drive. hand in Ogden. Oh, you're exactly. Ogden, I tell you. We're well, doing. That's gonna be a yearly policy, yeah. sir. We're up there doing a food drive and I and I was shaking people's hands and I I, I realized the next day, which was Thanksgiving, yeah. I went oh. 
It, I'm I, fucked. I yeah. did it. I'm fucked. No, you know the natural <laughs> the natural way to inoculate yourself from mm. from the viruses and in, in Ogden. Vodka. No, Lee's Mongolian barbecue. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot. see, you're supposed to. If you shake somebody's hand up there, you need to go to Lee's and just eat some Mongolian barbecue, huh. and that'll purge you. Uh, I wonder if they're still there. Probably I thought, you, I thought uh-huh. you were gonna tell them to lick a sign. Well, I was gonna tell you, Carrie. <laughs> that fucking show needs you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you know what I love? I almost though? drove my car I, to a ditch. I, I know. <laughs> I know this is. <laughs> I know this is the Star Wars episode, and we yes. don't want to talk about anything else well. other than Star Wars, but you know what I love more than anything else in the world? Lollipops. Star Wars. <laughs> All right. 20, 20 minutes into our Star Wars episode. Let's start the Star All Wars right, talk. All right. Here's the Star Wars talk. First thing I have here is- Han uh, dies. Is, Wait, what? Is, what? Is, <laughs> is this, uh, this came to my house. Jimmy, you can, you can see this here. Pottery Barn. It's Pottery Barn Kids. Are you kids. fucking kidding me? Even do Pottery not, Barn. Wait, wait, do wait, not. Do not. not I thought. First I of thought, all, I thought how, that did was they, a, how did you get on the mailing list if it's for kids? He exactly. Hates, he hates children. I know. I have many like godchildren and nieces and nephews that I bought shit. Are they all uh, getting? So. Are they all getting this? No, but because you, I'll have you know, your first godchild is mine. That's true. And he would love that. He, I, even though he's he almost, would, even he though he'll be twenty in. anymore. Oh, fuck you, Lee. He, he, he would love to see his dad sleep. In he'll it. be. He'll be twenty in a few months. <laughs> this is. <laughs> And I want you to try to picture this. But you probably go on their on their website and see it. But uh, try to picture this in podcast land. Uh, you know the the race car beds that you used to have. And yeah. The bed was shaped like. I a never race had a car. race car bed. Like really? So I went. I always wanted one. I, I never went out. Had one. I went out. I with never this, had a bed. I went out with this girl from <laughs> Spanish you, Fork who had this thing about race car beds. Wait, did you say race card? He did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he did. I got <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> he never had a race car bed. Those are big in bed. the south. <laughs> Look where I have to sleep. Look. <laughs> oh, sure. You Look get where no, I sleep. God damn it. No. Look at it, you guys. You take the top bunk as a privilege, huh? <laughs> oh, there goes Jay playing the race card bed again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you get to sleep in a race car. Yeah. Of course um, you get top bunk. But this is, and I think it's like it's like three grand. What? What? It, huh? it, well, as you can see, it's a bed shaped like the Millennium Falcon cockpit. No, I'm sorry. You know, oh. you know, no one's gonna buy this because in order to get this wealthy, you can't have hobbies like buying toys. Exactly. Uh. I haven't, uh. I haven't spent three thousand dollars on any of the beds I've owned in my life combined. I like how they you show. Know. You know what? For two for two thousand five hundred dollars, I'll come to your house and build one of these things Ooh, for you. Well, now we're talking. <laughs> what are you saying, Jay? <laughs> I, like how they have, I like how they have Obama's kids in the, in the fucking picture. This I, is the race card I, bed. I can't tell. No, me, like, for me, real. Those me, look like Obama's kids. In me, fucking... Michelle, and Aaliyah, we bought a Millennium Falcon bed, yeah. put it in the White House. We we changed. <laughs> if I had one of those kids that had like the wolf, the, like the wolf man disease that were super hairy, <laughs> I might called... pony up the 3,000 so they'd feel comfortable. <laughs> you know what? Oh my God. <laughs> I would I would seriously pay a million dollars to hear Barack Obama say, may the force be with you always. I'll bet he does sometime. Did, did, you, did you ever see you know. the, my favorite video? My favorite Obama video was when he was uh, when he came on WWE. Star Wars. No, I know. But it I was I'll on bring, the WWE. Yeah, he, and, he, and it was this was when he was running for oh, president right, right. the first right. time. So he, he didn't says, play saxophone on Arsenio. Yeah, no, he said, can you smell what Barack is cooking? Yeah. Right. And that yeah. like. Be- I'm sorry. That's one of which, the best which, sound bites. Which some of the some of the best SNL skits is when The Rock shows up playing The Rock yeah. Obama. Yeah, mm-hmm. The Rock Obama. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. The yeah. best video I've, I've seen, seen of, of uh, Barack is when he rode the uh, one of the last surviving white rhinos into that climate change thing. <laughs> I saw that meme. <laughs> like a fucking pimp. <laughs> <laughs> but just to drive the point home, somebody at Pottery Barn is a huge Star Wars fan, and I'll show you, you why. Yeah, and actually, I think that 16 consultants told them they should pretend to be Star because, Wars fans. as you can see here, they have backpacks for the kids. Backpack? Because every kid needs a backpack to go Holy to school, shit. right? Well, uh, that's not made out of clay. How can they sell it at Pottery Barn? Exactly. That's um, not pottery. pottery. Now, there are three here. That shit's not a barn either. That are s- character specific. There's <laughs> no. there's this one that's a Vader head. I, uh-huh. I, I, right? hate to, I hate to interrupt, but I have to correct Shannon on something really quick. The uh, the Pottery Barn at uh-huh. Trolley Square in downtown Salt Lake uh-huh. is actually in an old trolley barn. 
So it technically is in a barn. Well, aren't you neat? Okay. I am. I'm fancy, um, too. <laughs> Sorry. So there's there's one that's shaped like a Vader head. Okay. There's one shaped like kind of like R2-D2, which is backpack-shaped anyway. Yeah. Okay. And then there's one that's backpack-shaped but covered in fur and has Chewie's like, bandolier, bandolier right? Uh, I'm, now, I'm now gonna... you can get your name put on these. Oh, wow. Shut now, up. now, for display purposes in the catalog, and this is why I'm convinced that someone is a huge Star Wars fan, uh-huh. the name on the Darth Vader one is James. Uh-huh. uh-huh. James Earl Jones. Right. The name on the R2-D2 is Kenny. Uh-huh. Uh, Kenny Baker. Oh, look at that, what they're and doing. on the Chewie Peter. 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 So uh, of course. I just yes. want to know: um, Is there a letter limit? Because if I get the Chewbacca one, I really want to have my my natural birth name of Cashmere. Cashmere yeah. put on I'm there. Sure they can, can they put you know pillow face fucking, Jenkins on there? You know who got me <laughs> hmm? with their Star Wars bulls everywhere? Right? Are oh, you guys it's everywhere. almost? You're just like what the fuck? Like I said, is going I was on? at fucking Nordstroms, yeah. and like they yeah. showed me a fucking. I brought that up with uh, Daisy Ridley. Yeah, it's you know, too she, much. I go, I, I go, is, it, I go, is it kind of like I didn't? Is, I, and I wanted to say I'm a mind fuck. Like when you walk into every store and see your face, and she's like, actually back home, she's from England. She's like, it's not as bad. But when I got here, she's like, it's insane. I go, yeah, yeah I was in Bed Bath and Beyond the other day, and there you were. And she like immediately burst out laughing. <laughs> I'm just like, you it's know, insane. But fucking but, Subway got me. Yeah, yeah. I went and got a sandwich for wait, lunch wait, yesterday. Wait, wait, how, so, how did Subway get are you? Telling, you? Are you well, telling me that? that way. Okay. Are you telling just me that, that I didn't uh, get Jareded? Did you get it a Darth <laughs> Jared burger? Did someone fogle you? <laughs> did someone Jared fogle sand. you? I, am I? I'm fogling. He's fogling you. Right now. <laughs> I got fogled. Did you no, get the um, six or twelve inch special? You're far too old to get fogled. Oh come on, fogled. Yeah, <laughs> six inch. Um, you're an old uh, crusty sandwich. No, but like they have, like you go there and they've got cups. Yeah. And then they've got bags like these, and they're kind of like you can like use them as like lunch bags. Mm-hmm. There's like nine different lunch bags, and they're a dollar fifty, uh-huh. and they come with like a little uh, lightsaber. Really. Yeah. Did you buy all nine? Uh, I bought I bought one. I was like, fuck it, it's $1.50. Yeah. It's well, Star Wars. Star Wars, I mean, okay. Here's Star what's, Wars. Here's what's great for, for me in this instance is that you guys now see what my brain looks like all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all, all right. Star Wars all the time. Like, my kids were like, oh, my God, I hear Star Wars at Target every time we go in there. And I'm like, I hear Star Wars all the time anyway. I hear Star Wars right now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, seriously, every time I do anything even remotely cool, like, I'll be walking and all of a sudden the walk starts feeling cool. And da, da, like, da, I'm da, da, so da. excited about it all. <laughs> like, I'm super excited about it. The Mangler. If you actually Milady look at it. Lady of the Mount loves Star Wars backpack. too. What's that again, Jimmy? If you look at that backpack picture, if you look at it in the background, uh, in the trash can, there's a plaid ball that says George on it. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious. Well, like, <laughs> Milady the Mangler, she mm-hmm. loves Star Wars too. And I'm so excited. She's excited. And I just don't know what I'm going to do. What are you guys going to do if this is another prequel? If it's another prequel, that's well, I'm so. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't, you want to know what? I don't think okay. it's going to be. I didn't hate the prequels, so I'm okay. I mean, but... I fucking hated them. I, mean, I know you did. You didn't, you didn't fuck you know with what? them? Hang on. I fucked Tony. with them all and I hated them. Tony. I had a dream Wednesday night into the Thursday morning that we all saw Star Wars early uh-huh. here for some reason. At my at, house? At your house. Wow. Yep. That's be the way to watch on, it. On his, on his gigantic, goofy ass screen. Yep. I'm good. And it was terrible. And it was terrible. It no, was no, no. so bad. I woke up so angry that morning. I but was, the mistake you're <laughs> making is in assuming that J.J. Abrams can make a bad movie. Everyone can make a bad movie. Uh-oh. Well, there right. we go. Oh, let he's me got help. a story. He's we got are so help. good at this shit. What do you got there, Carrie? Uh, J.J. Abrams being uh, interviewed, uh, saying uh, he listed the films that he looked to for inspiration. Force 10 from Never on. While is, making this movie. Is Star Wars on that list? No. Mm. <laughs> um, Logan's run. <laughs> he said uh, before he started filming, he watched, uh, he watched some movies, not those. Not watch the, some Beastie not, Boys. on all the problem child movies. Other ones. Beastie Boys videos. He looked at the confidence <laughs> of John Ford Westerns. Yes. He, oh. he, he took in the unbelievable scene choreography and composition of Kurosawa's High and Low. Well, that's an amazing movie. But well, that's where hmm? Lucas got a bunch, of, a bunch of his stuff from Kurosawa. Well, mm-hmm. Lucas's big inspiration was Hidden Fortress. He studied the powerful yeah. stillness of Terrence Malick. Hmm. He said, it's, nice. not, it's not something I normally would have thought of coming to Star Wars. The spare visual style of Ford, Kurosawa, and Malick points to a key mandate from Abrams' approach to, uh, uh, to uh, Force Awakens. Uh, the less is more quality. Yeah. Oh, thank God. So, 
So, Jimmy, I forgot. I haven't had a chance. I really haven't seen you in like a month. Uh, you just rewatched yeah. the uh, prequel trilogy not too long ago. What I rewatched all six of them. Yeah, so I was going to watch the seventh one. So <laughs> let's 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 not not <laughs> counting one. not counting Phantom Menace because even uh, a diehard prequel apologist like myself can admit yeah. that it's it's not that great of a movie. What what yeah. did you, you might think? Call it a turd. What would you what what did what did you think of uh, the second and third movie going back through again? Uh, I still hate the second one. Mm-hmm. I do. There's some good stuff in it, but it's too stalkery and soap opery, like a soap opera to sure. enjoy it. I will give you 65 percent of three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would good. say the last, the mm-hmm. last part of three is the, like best. the last hour. Yeah, and yeah the, minutes, is so. the best out yeah. of all those fucking. Well, and, and I because they realized they fucked me. up with the first two and they had to catch oh. up. I still think the first 25 minutes of the first of uh, of Revenge of the Sith is actually the best space battle in any. Star Wars movie. That's the second one. Right? No, it's yeah. the third one. Well, third one. Okay. Yeah. The, the K- big. Carrie the, and I were laughing about this because the final lightsaber fight is fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. And, no, it is. But you go if you watch it in order: one, two, three, four, five, six. You go from three, then you go to four, and Alec Guinness and Darth Vader fighting. It's just old, <laughs> old, no. old men, yeah. old men fighting with toilet paper tubes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I put bad. a meme. Let me see if I can find it. I put a meme on Facebook that was so funny. Oh, that like, we got old. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like. Remember that time? Remember that time uh, that we were fighting on whatever that fucking planet was? Where Must, guys, it was Mustafar. Mustafar. Yeah. And remember, like how we were like jumping and flipping over the lava and stuff, <laughs> and like, and it's like, yeah, I do. Man, we got fucking swinging old. on caves. You know, yeah, they, we they, got fucking old. They have they have <laughs> really explained that a lot with the with the new um, the new canon that's coming out. I mean. Uh, it's knees. It's their knees, huh? No, it's actually <laughs> Darth, Darth Vader's mostly machine. The thing, with, the thing with the, the thing with the Force is that it surrounds all living things. So Darth sure. Vader is mostly machine. So he's not as powerful as Anakin was. So what's fucking Obi's? He's, excuse. Well, he spent thirty knees. years. He th- he spent thirty years in the fucking West Valley of the of the universe. <laughs> Tatooine is basically that would suck West Valley. Force out of anybody. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I also he think- hurt his back because he can't stand up straight in that hut. That's somebody, right. Somebody did a home mm. invasion, stole all his midichlorians. Yeah, he's more machine now, <laughs> than man. He's more. Yeah. Ah. Uh, anyway, um, speaking of canon, because uh, you brought up canon, I love Star I did? Wars. I know you love Star Wars, and I know you love canon, but some people take it a little too far. Well, then it, fuck off. Do they get the hell, get off of my canon lawn right now. <laughs> you're, you're pissing off my love of Star Wars. No, you I'm assholes. not. I'm not. No, I'm not you. I'm talking about all oh, those them. guys. Oh, them. Okay. You, right. I could never be mad at you. I'm sorry. I um, love you so much. <laughs> no, I just, there are those who take it way too seriously. Yeah, and, yeah. and knuckle dragon bottom feeders. Exactly. Well, let me just uh, read you a little story here. About someone who doesn't take it too seriously. Okay. Lawrence Kasdan. <laughs> oh, you mean the guy that wrote the best Star Wars movie ever? The guy that's written several Star Wars you movies. I wrote the best one. You mean the writer and director of Grand Canyon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so the story reads, if you have no idea what it meant for Lucasfilm to reset the Star Wars canon last year ahead of the release of the new movie, then you can rest assured that you're in fine company. Lawrence Kasdan admits the canon has zero meaning to me. No, it shouldn't. Uh, Kasdan said in the LA Times, uh, everyone refers to the canon, but it has zero meaning to me. I don't know what the canon is. I cannot get it straight. I've written four Star Wars movies now, and I don't know what the canon is. Uh, and Lucasfilm, <laughs> Lucasfilm formalized the definition of Star Wars canon in April 2014, officially excluding everything made before that point, the original six movies, and, and so it's the original, the original six, six movies, movies. and Clone the Clone Wars. Wars and the comic books and literature that they're putting out now. Okay. Well, and they 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 got so carried away. And the when, and the and the Christmas special. Well, no, Clone Wars. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I don't think so. When uh, when the Del Rey oh, book series came out, mm-hmm. came out, they wanted to make sure that they had a continuity expert on board, but they weren't really worried too much about quality. Mm-hmm. So you have turds of books like uh, Courtship of Princess Leia and uh, a lot of the things with the use on Vong. Not good books. So you guys that are desperately clinging to mm-hmm. this old uh, expanded universe continuity, Grand Admiral Thrawn, anyone? Some some of the stuff with Thrawn was actually pretty cool, but not all of it. Because you know what their thing was with uh, the 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 whole thing with Timothy Zahn and how he explained clones. They had an extra vowel in their names. That was his big explanation. So you guys are desperately clinging to L- Ook Skywalker. Yeah. That's Prince, bullshit, guys. Prince, yeah. Prince Shijor. Who knew? Oh, uh, Prince Rapor. <laughs> uh, like, is the rapiest character in Star Wars. Yeah. 
Uh, Kasdan shouldn't be too worried. Not only does The Force Awakens set the tone for the Star Wars mythology moving forward, uh, he said uh, his final Star Wars project is a flashback story, young Han Solo. <laughs> that, which sounds like a rap name, young Solo. Young Solo. <laughs> Uh, opening up, uh, see, he talks at the Times, he says that the project was fun because you have to imagine Han 10 years earlier than his debut in 77 in so Star Wars. So he's 22. So early 20s. What it was like before he hardened up, before he had some setbacks, before he put on his cynical coat. What got him there? Bright-eyed cadet from the Imperial Academy. Well, you don't know that. I'm going to pretend. You don't know that because <laughs> that's the canon. Choo- that's, that's what you're see, choosing that's to believe. That's what he's talking there's about. Always, there's always something that makes that well, hardened there's, character. There, there are some things like uh, the, the current Chewbacca comic that's going on with Marvel right now. I mean, it was insinuated in the old canon, expanded universe canon, that the, um, that the oh, geez, what was Bosk? The Trandoshans. The, the Trandoshans had actually enslaved a bunch of Wookiees and sold them to the Empire to build the Death Star because Wookiees are really hardy. They're really mm-hmm. good manual labor. And so that was never canon. But the new um, Chewbacca comic that Phil Noto just beautifully drew and painted uh, actually establishes that. They show uh, she's ta- uh, the, there's this girl that he's helping out, and she's talking about how, well, you wouldn't know what it's like to be forced to do something you don't want to do. And it actually shows a flashback of a bunch of Trandoshans enslaving Wookiees and, and selling them to the Empire. So mm-hmm. Fucking Trandoshans. Some, those Wookiees came in here and took their well, jobs. Trandoshans, <laughs> you go back, they there's there's job. actually a, there's a phenomenal episode of The Clone Wars. I think it's in season four where Ahsoka and a bunch of other Padawans are kidnapped by Trandoshans and put on this like battle world uh, to, to fight for their lives. And the Trandoshans are like these crazy hillbillies that are betting on which of the Padawans are going to win, and Chewbacca shows up, and it's uh, it's Ahsoka and Chewbacca fighting a bunch of lizard men fucking shit up. It's amazing. Speaking of young Han Solo. Young Solo. Yeah, it's great. Can we just say young Solo? Young Solo. That, 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 that's a dope rap name. Is Neo going to play him? No. Well, <laughs> like, no, seriously. Young Solo is a dope rap name. Trademark it. Yo, Before this comes out. Yo, what up, yo? I bet, you, I bet you that dot .com's available. This is full Whitaker letting you know. I'm uh, solo. This, is, this story is about three weeks old. I'll bet they haven't found who they, they're getting yet. It's I, me. But I'd, I'd take the guy that played Harrison Ford in Age of Adeline. <laughs> yeah. He looked a lot no. like him. He sounded he like sounded him. sounded like The guy him. who played him in, uh, oh, you said Age of Adeline. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. That's hey, your winner. Hey, Bryce, is Young Solo a dope rap name? Hit me up later. All right, thanks. More than 2,500 actors have met to read <laughs> for Young Han Solo. Young Solo. Shut, Young really? Solo. What? Yeah. Casting director Gene McCarthy has uh, plotted that out. The contenders are being whittled down uh, for this part, but there is an agent in L.A. who said, uh, this has been the easiest movie for my clients for audition for because they're seeing everyone. The well, who wouldn't want to play Han and, Solo? And the strategy is a 180, because when J.J. did it, he went for unknowns. You know, because uh, Daisy Ridley, she was just like a TV star in Britain was all, right? She'd said a couple of things. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Yeah, she's very fresh. Yeah. But, so the, but they're seeing everybody. Here's some of the names. The, 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 name of the, the code name for the project is called Red Cup. Uh-oh. <laughs> that means he's a drinker. Last movie I saw that with a cup in the name was terrible. <laughs> it had two girls in it. <laughs> it's it's Red Solo. Yeah, in this day and age, red don't cup. you think each girl oh. could have their own? Oh, I get red it. God solo. damn it, they're clever. No, but, they're clever. But what if it's like a is, is young Solo and he's in the middle of like of like some frat boy shit? Like he's playing beer pong. Well, here are some of the names of people who have read for it. McLovin. Right. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Dave Franco, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Miles Teller. Uh, Jesse Nick, Eisenberg. No. Nick Robinson no. from Jurassic World. Michael B. Jordan. Uh, Leo Howard from Kicking It. Uh, Tony Oller from The Purge. Uh, Rami Malek from Mr. Robot. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Chandler oh, Riggs cool. from Walking Dead. Your old, your old buddy Chandler Riggs, Jimmy. Yay. Uh, Hunter Parrish is Chandler reading Riggs for Chandler Riggs would probably be good. If he could like act, that. that would be one thing. Yeah. Uh, I think he'd be too young for it. The guy from Hemlock Grove, Landon LeBlanc. Um, <laughs> How'd you spell that? English actor, just like it sounds. Ed Westwick, <laughs> Tom Felton, <laughs> Joshua Sass. Tom Berenger. I mean... Tom Berenger? <laughs> just throwing out names at this point. Logan Lerman. Ansel, Ansel Elgort, because I just like saying Ansel Elgort. Glenn Close. I mean, 
I met him before. Uh, good. Jack Rayner, Colton Haynes, Bette Midler, Max Thoreau, John I mean, Ritter. Yeah. Keenan Ivory Wayne. Uh, uh, you know who needs to do it is Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf needs nice. to be yeah. too, too old. They were going to give him Indiana Jones, and they told him to fuck off. I know, so give him another chance. With Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? Yeah, Matthew McConaughey should do it. So that's what they're working on. <laughs> all, right, so, all right, so let's pick our young solo. Young solo? Yeah, young solo. Who, who's, who's young solo? I just, I couldn't even. I, I can't even. I, like, I mean, well, I, honestly... I'd want an unknown. I I would want I would want a comedian. I, I would want someone who's funny first. River. So like Chris Tucker. I think River you know, Phoenix. You know what I would want is is someone who's as funny as T.J. Miller, but because yeah, but just doesn't look like T.J. Miller. Well, yeah. Well, it's funny if I, if I were casting Indiana Jones, I'd go Chris Pratt. Yeah, but with Han Solo. Yeah, not. we're talking twenty-year-old Han Solo. Yeah, so, so I no, but I, I mean like, seriously, I would. But, I would. But Chris Pratt could still play fucking Han, though. He could play thirty-something Han. I mean, Chris yeah. Pratt's almost forty no, years no, old. No, so. no, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, if if they were to do a oh. young, if they, if they were to do young Solo, yeah, Pratt. Well, he's he's already playing Han Solo. Yeah, pretty much. There, I know. There is yeah. there is some there is some twenty-year-old kid out there that can do a dead-on Harrison Ford so, impersonation. Yeah. So. And, the real question is, who's the next Pratt? It will be this guy, <laughs> the one that they're casting. <laughs> Fuck that dude. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. There was a whole list. I <laughs> haven't, like 2000 they haven't announced it yet. There's still <laughs> some white dude. Stay yeah. tuned. Some yeah. white dude That's with a big mouth. And he's got a scar on his chin. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, let's, uh, We'll continue. Calista. No, I mean, we, we already we already know. I mean, even with uh, Indiana Jones and the Final Crusade, you had River Phoenix play a, a really good yep. teenage mm-hmm. Harrison Ford. Nah, so. River yep. Phoenix is dead though. Well, yep. yeah, and he it's a did. shame because he'd be in his forties right now, so it really wouldn't matter. Yeah. Uh, coming up after uh, broken news and messages, George Lucas speaks. He uh-huh. has seen the new movie. Uh-huh. Um, and hey I bet guys, you, I bet you he liked it. Have you guys seen my backpack? Hey guys, um, <laughs> it says George on it. <laughs> hey guys, um, it says Will Rowhood. Just um, right no, my name's. I'm pretty sure I'm on the list. Um, <laughs> I, brought Will Hood with George, I brought a Will Rowhood with JJ. Abrams. George, that George, would be dope. George Luke, Lucas. Um, if I, I mean, I like. Um, I thought up this shit. Um, <laughs> you know, five, I've, I've got a quote. Five, I, um, five years from now, he's not going to be a joke anymore. And people will be I, like, thanks, George. I've that is quote. where you're wrong, sir. I am <laughs> not wrong. He has seen it. I'll tell I you will what he always, said. I will always admire George Lucas for what he's accomplished. I mean, oh, he, everyone should. Yes. He'll always what? be a joke. Hey, now, could, you, could you check again? It's um, George... <laughs> Lucas. Lucas. The only thing that would make the the only thing that would make Lucas not the butt of a lot of punchlines is giving his personal fortune to the California school system. No, that that won't even do it. Is if he (laughs) were to come out and make some more really good movies. I don't. That's the only way it would happen. I don't think old man Lucas is capable. I will tell you coming up. No, but this is what I want to see. Questions. This um, is what I want to see in the Star Wars movie. Is all I want to see is a Will Will Hood ice cream shop. (laughs) Will Will Hood's ice cream (laughs) on Bespin. What did JJ say about Will Will Hood? He said that we will not be seeing him in Force Awakens. God damn it! God damn it! I just want to—I just want to see him. Hashtag running. Black Black Lives Matter. No, I just want to see a, a scene of him <laughs> running with a waffle maker across the desert scape of Jakku, um, or maybe just a newer version of an ice cream maker, no, like it has a Cuisinart under his arms. I—I <laughs> I, I will not limit that magnificent man to just ice cream. Mm. I will allow him to make any food he wants. Okay. Real World he, Hood, greatest looter of all time. <laughs> Hey, um, <laughs> California, <laughs> California, California school system. Um, here's here's millions of dollars, and I'm really because I'm really sorry. Um, I I kind of made kids stupider with those last three movies I made. Um, <laughs> so let's let's fix that, okay? Um, after, after these messages, we'll be right, right back. Oh shit, the episode's not I, over. 